In today's lesson, you will learn how to pronounce some words that are confusing to pronounce for many English learners. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will help you to pronounce the words cloth, clothes, and clothing. Clothes are what people wear, like this. These are clothes that I'm wearing. Um, and it's important to know that there is no singular form of the word clothes. It's just always clothes. Now, it's pronounced with a long O vowel sound, like O, clothes. And the TH in this word sounds like a Z in this word. So it sounds like clothes, like C-L-O-Z-E, clothes. A sample sentence is, he likes to buy new clothes. There's also a verb, to clothe. You won't hear that as often, though. It's a little more of a formal word, so I'm not going to talk about it really in this lesson. Now, the word cloth, C-L-O-T-H. The T-H has a sound, cloth, cloth. Now, cloth is material. Um, that's the, it's the stuff that clothes are made out of. Like this is uh, made out of some type of cloth that's white. So cloth can be just material, a piece of material that is like the kind of stuff that you make the clothes out of. Or it can be used in a word like washcloth, uh, like this, which some people would call a face cloth. Or there's also a dishcloth that people use to dry their dishes, or a tablecloth that people put over their table to make their table look a little bit nicer, or to protect the wood on the table. And this word is countable. You can make it plural, like you can say washcloths or tablecloths. Some sample sentences are, I love this type of cloth. It is so soft. Or, I need to buy a new tablecloth for Christmas this year. Now, the word clothing also has a long O, but a different TH sound. It sounds like the, like in the word the, clothing, clothing. Clothing is an uncountable noun that has the same meaning, more or less, as clothes, but maybe a little more formal. Also, clothing is called a mass noun. Now, I'm not going to explain that here, but it's a more general term, more formal, and you probably won't hear it as often, but maybe in the context of like a clothing store. The word clothing can also be used with other nouns like piece or item, like a piece of clothing. You can't do that with the word clothes, though. It is not correct to say a piece of clothes. We don't do that. Some sample sentences with clothing are, they are collecting food and clothing for the poor, or she needs to return a piece of clothing that she borrowed from a friend. Now, you may realize that the word C-L-O-S-E can also be pronounced the same as the other clothes, clothes with a Z sound for the S. In that case, it means this, like to close something, like to close a book. It's the opposite of open and close. C-L-O-S-E can also be pronounced with more of an S sound, with like close which means the opposite of far, like something is close. See, now I am not close to the camera. Now I am close to the camera. There's also a song by the band The Police called Don't Stand So Close To Me. It's kind of a cute song. I will put a link to that in the description for this video if I can find it on YouTube. So to review, C-L-O-T-H is cloth. C-L-O-T-H-E-S is clothes. C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G is clothing. And C-L-O-S-E can either be pronounced close or close with different meanings. But to make it real confusing, I can put them all in one sentence. You can buy clothes made out of cloth in a clothing section of a store that is close by if they are not closed already. If you want, you can practice that as a sort of tongue twister to get used to using these words. Okay, now we'll have a short quiz. So fill in the blanks with either cloth, C-L-O-T-H, clothes, clothing, or close with the S sound, or clothes with the Z sound. 
Number one, every time I see her, she is wearing new blank. Number two, it is cold outside. Don't forget to blank the door. Number three, that restaurant has very expensive table. Number four, a new blank store opened up last week in the mall. Number five, I don't like it when strangers sit really blank to me. Once again, I will have a link at the end of this video and in the description to a page where you can download an MP3 of the sample sentences from this lesson that you can use for more pronunciation and speaking practice using my LLRS method. And if you want even more practice, then try making your own sentences with cloth, close, closing, or close with a Z sound or close with an S sound in the comments. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And in a few seconds, you will see the link to get the MP3 that I talked about earlier. And if you have time, then stick around and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. Washcloth like this, which some, by, some people call a face cloth. Face, face cloth. And today, I will help you to pronounce the words cloth, clothes, and closing. Closing. Cloths. No, I'm not going to say that.